Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, using presets in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you end up doing the same kind of thing like color correction, scale, pan, zoom, over and over again, there's a good chance that you could save a ton of time by using presets. There's presets inside Premiere Pro and you can make your own and you can also import them and export them from other places. Stay tuned at the end, I've got a cool announcement of where you can get a ton of great free presets. All right, so when you have a clip selected and we look at our effects controls, if I select something like motion, or time remapping or the effects for, for audio, right click and save a preset. Name the preset. You have a choice of whether something scales or anchors. Scaling, anchor in and out only matter if you have keyframes. If this is just a quick color correction, disregard this. If you have keyframes, this pertains to how the keyframes will work with different length clips. So if you created an effect that was one second long and you have it set on scale, and next time you apply it to a clip that's longer, the amount of that effect will change because it's longer. If it's set to anchor in, it'll be the same one second at the beginning. If it's in the end, it's one second at the end. You can also put a description in there. It really helps when you're adding a bunch of these and you forgot why you made it. All right, so once you create these, where do they show up? Well, down here in the effects panel in presets. And I've created some down in here and there's a few more like beveled edges and you can just drag them on top and you can see it creates an effect. And if we go over to the effects controls, you can actually see this effect and you can tweak that if you want, tweak it, right click, save a new preset. And you're not going to update the preset that was there. So we've got some bevels and we got blurs, fast blur in. Let's drag this on and watch what happens right at the beginning, it blurs on. Kind of a cool effect, right? Let's get rid of that, look at a few more. Convolution kernel has to do more with uh, different kinds of operations like emboss. And uh, I pretty much stay away from all of these because they, uh, they have that dated Photoshop look to them. Um, I'll get to this one in a second. Lens distortion for the uh, GoPro and DJI. So if you were flying with a Phantom 2 Vision, you can apply this and uh, it will correct for the distortion. There's a mosaic in and mosaic out. Same kind of idea. It's, instead of blurring, it's doing that pixelated kind of look uh, there. Um, I created these for pan and scan. So if I want to do 40%, this now pushes out 40%. And that one actually has keyframes on it. Picture in picture and solarize and twirls and things like that. We can twirl this in. Don't ever do that. Don't, don't use the twirl. Okay. You can also right click and choose the properties. And if there are, if there is a description, it will show up. And if, if that description was there, when you mouse over, it will show up as a, as a tool tip if you want. You can import and export presets by clicking in here and importing and exporting. You can also create a custom preset bin. So once I do that, there it is. And I could drag some of these down into that preset bin and I could name this my color correction. So now they're all inside there. When you're importing, you can import in your presets from anywhere, including Jarl's Presets 2.0. If you're not familiar with Jarl Leerpol, let me just show you PremierePro.net and Jarl Leerpol has a bunch of presets. He now has them in version 2.0. Um, I'll have the URL down in the bottom, so you'll click on that and you just go to this point right here and download them and there's a ton of them that are free. There's color, scaling, log to lin and effects. Let, let's just go through a few of those. So I'll open them up. He's got them organized into uh, separate folders, audio tools for compression, re re removing reverb um, and adding a rich overtone compositing tools, grading tools. So let's look at some of these. Um, 
there's a steep S curve or a light S curve and we drag that on there you'll see it applies that S curve and there's a, a RGB curves effect on this particular clip. Let me just remove that so we can look at a few others. He's got some really cool looks down in here. So here's a bleach bypass look. Pretty wild, very cinematic. There's um, some cool cross-processing going on. Very cool stuff. Very stylized look. And then the other cross-process look. Deep blacks. Sepia, teal, and orange. Here's summer. Very cool. So a bunch of great looks that, that he has um, available. Some log to lin, other miscellaneous effects inside. Check this one out. Bad TV reception with keyframes. So it's actually going to look like you're having difficulty uh, tuning that in with the television. So presets, incredibly powerful, very useful to use on your own. You can use them for simple pan and scan, zoom in, zoom out, or some pretty radical looking effects. And thanks to Yarg for making his amazing presets available. Go and download them. The link is down at the bottom in the description. Go get them and install them and have fun with presets in Premiere Pro. Hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then please take a moment and click on the subscribe button link down in the bottom for video reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com and download your free 30-day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith. It's my job to get you looking your best.